Okay, I just wanted to go over my method for creating really quick mixes or rough balancing of levels. Um, I'm using Logic X, Logic 10 to show you this example. This also works in Logic 9 because I'm using the factory uh, plugins. Okay, what I usually do is I go to the master output here and I go down to metering and I go down to multimeter. Okay, now if you can see multimeter here, we have these numbers here. These are decibel levels, and in theory, the highest level you can go to is 0 dB. Of course, we all know that there are a lot of mastered records, MP3s out there that go well above 0 dB. But we're doing this within Logic before it's been mastered, before there's any compression right now. So we want to try to adhere or stick to some kind of uh, relatively good levels that don't really create distortion. All right, what I usually do is make sure my mix peaks around minus 10, minus 7 dB. And to do that in this domain, and just bearing in mind it's a rough mix, I usually start with my kick drum. Now obviously every genre of music is different, but now I'm working with a drum machine, and usually nowadays the kick drum is most likely the heaviest or the loudest thing in the mix. So I'm going to solo my kick drum and ensure that this peaks at minus 10 right here. So let's see what's going on. And as you can see, it is. Now it's very important to note that if you've got two or three kick drums, that you still want them collectively to peak at minus 10. So let's look at these two kick drums together. I'll go up here and we'll look at this kick drum. All right, so I've got that around minus 20. Let's see how that looks with the other kick drum. So it's going a little bit over there. So I'll pull kick two down because I don't want that to be the prominent kick. I'm just adding that as a bit of depth there. So let's look how that looks by itself. That's around minus 25, okay? Of course, I can add EQ to define certain frequencies and scoop out, do subtractive EQ on one of the kicks so that, you know, certain frequencies of each kick sticks out. We're not really at that point right now. We just created a quick mix. Okay, so that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is go to the claps and the snare, which are obviously triggering around the same uh, beat. Okay, so what I'm trying to do on this one, I'm having the clap lead. So I've got the snare around minus 25, minus, yeah, about minus 25 is good right here. Again, with all the other instruments, you can decide between minus 30 right up to minus 20 as to what you want where. So right now, collectively, these are peaking about just above minus 25, which is good here. And again, I'm using my ears also. So that to me sounds like good enough for this rough mix. Next thing I'm gonna go to are my hi-hats. Um, and these I've got around, again, minus 25. I've panned this one slightly to the right to give a bit of separation from the other one. And I'm going to go to hi-hat 1. And that's about minus 25. It's peaking a little bit above that. I'll just pull that down. You can see right here. Let's have a look how all these sound together. That sounds good to me. Now, important note to make is I, I've, I've seen a lot of sessions where people copy the same sound, the same kick drum sample four or five times thinking it makes the track sound heavier when in fact they actually phase and as you copy them, the more copies you do of the same sample, they phase each other out, cancel each other out. So, you know, just bear in mind that you're using different sounds and that you are working further down the line with EQ that helps those sounds complement each other instead of mask each other. All right, so the next thing I'm going to look at is the bass. 
Um, and usually I have base about minus 30, minus 25. Let's see how this looks with the kicks. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we will add on top of that the keyboard pad I have here. And I can raise that a little bit. But because it's not being compressed or anything and there's no EQ, it's quite hard to control that sound. But for a quick mix, this is what I would do. All right, let's listen to that whole thing together now and see where it's going. And as you can see, I'm going slightly above minus 10, which is fine. It's most likely this kick here. There we go. Nice volume right there. And we've got enough headroom to add a limiter or a compressor on the top. Uh, bounce it down really quickly. And... Uh, send the mix to somebody, okay?